So I wanted to make some bread and I, I mostly make my bread in the bread machine. I do make it the old fashioned way sometimes, but most of the time I do it in the bread machine, just a personal preference. So I figured I would show you guys how I make my bread. So I'm gonna come over here to this side. And so this is my pan. This is a sunbeam bread machine. I have lots of bread machines. Um, I have a $300 bread machine and I have $50 bread machines. I've used three uh, thrift store bread machines and honestly, they're all good. They're all good. Just maybe one might have a better something or whatever. So I just added a little over a cup between one fourth a cup and one cup of water. Not one fourth, but between one cup and one fourth a cup of water. I use a tablespoon for of uh, yeast. So I always add the yeast to my water while I'm gathering up and getting my other ingredients ready. And I keep my yeast in a container and I keep it in the freezer. That way it lasts me such a long time. And um, most of the time I use this yeast, I buy it from the food supply store you can get it in the one pound you can also buy it in the uh, one or two pounds at um sam's club as well so yeah so we'll go on so i'll add the sugar this is a one half cup measure but as you can see it's not full so i would say this is probably around a fourth a cup and I'm not gonna use all of that because I don't like real sweet bread and um, we're gonna add some butter to it or margarine you can use margarine butter uh, vegetable oil olive oil, whatever kind you want, but I'm gonna use blue bonnet margarine today. So I'm gonna add the flour and the flour is right over here to the side. It's probably out of view. And I usually use about three cups of flour, maybe a little over. And this is a one and a, a, one and a half cup measuring cup. And so I do two of those, but basically it equals out to about three cups or a little over three cups. Now I'm gonna add my margarine. I do not add salt most of the time to my recipe because I've added salt and I've never noticed anything that salt adds. So I'm adding my margarine. I am going to set my machine to 58 minutes. And so you do need to kind of watch it for a few minutes just to see if you might need to add more water or more flour. It just kind of depends on your area of where you're at. So at this point, I will add just a little bit more flour. Maybe even a little more. And 
And so once it gets mixed all in, what I'll do is I'll reset it again. So I'm gonna reset it again and then restart it. That way it mixes us a little more. So I'm gonna let that do its thing and then I'll come back and show you the end of how it turns out. And so our bread is now done. And we'll take a peek. And so we're gonna let that cool off and then I'll cut you a slice. So as promised, I am gonna cut you all a piece. The bread is done. Normally I put butter over the top when it gets done, but I didn't this time. So I'm just gonna put it on this uh, plate to make it easier to cut. It's a lot easier to cut it with the electric knife, but I didn't feel like doing all of that. You ever have those days where you just don't feel like the extra hee-haw? But an electric knife makes bread cut so easily. And then if you're a butter or margarine person, you just take it. I normally don't use this knife to put butter on, but I didn't want to go get a butter knife. And so there you go. And we'll spread it. And it is so good when it is first out of the, um, it is so good when it's first out of the bread machine. Like you give it a few minutes to cool down. And it is so yummy with that fresh melted butter on it. Oh, you talk about something good. And so there you go. And that is how I make bread in my bread machines. And everybody has a different recipe. Everyone has a different variation. This is one of my more simple bread recipes. I have a cinnamon bread recipe, if anyone would be interested in seeing that. If you are, leave a comment. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and share. Thank you. Bye.